all in one bowl tonight. That's the 3D printer at House for Rack. And this is the team present tonight. Each one's going to state their name. I'm Philip. Okay, Andrew. Josephine. Nickel. And Nick. Great stuff. Let's see what we've got here. Beautiful. You guys are. <laughs> we, we took time to unpack here. Um, so we and are. We've just started the, very conveniently. They uh, bring a practice set uh, so that you can, you can try to to break some of the acrylic parts before you start, so that you know how easy it, it breaks. So that's what we're going to try and do. Um, it's going to be one of those steel uh, rods. Things, rods in there. And then we're going to tighten the screws until the acrylic breaks. So this is really just stress testing to get a feel yeah. of, of what the tensile strength what? of the. We should definitely make a video of this stress testing so everyone can, can get actually a feel see. Of it. Excellent. Okay. Sounds good. And right now Nick is trying cuts. to fetch his tools. Okay. So the, the first confession is we didn't have the right tools to start with. Absolutely. So Nick has gone to fetch his toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> awesome one. Thanks, Nick. He's already He's off. Yeah, we've got some. Uh, we were able to get yes. some of them. Oh. Yeah. The problem is that it gets harder <laughs> to, if you <laughs> press the other one. Well, you need to get out. Would you guys like to use my toolkit? Well, if you've, if you've got it, uh, that's going to actually help. How far do you do? Is it far? Here's my jersey. Uh, I live in one of the park. It's about 20 kilometers from here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Right, and here's the whole screen setup. Here we'll be watching some videos of how to build it. That was easy. You can use this step to move the screws. This will be used. Already, we already have the part to break. This video, tools, tools. Wow, that was quick. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice installation. <laughs> well organized. Absolutely. Is there taste coming up. Okay, should we start? Don't know how long that's gonna take. Probably it's gonna hold for a while. But are we supposed to get like a feedback on feel it? There we go. Ooh. That was quick. Huh? That, was that was pretty three, quick. Three turns, eh? It was not even three turns after it was tied. <laughs> Good job we did that before. <laughs> so you can see it snapped here in the middle. Yeah. And there was no resistance basically. Okay, that was very disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> that, was disturbing. That, that was disturbing, yes. I'm scared now. I think... Um, so are you going to be tightening them? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I was just about to say, I think I'm going to leave now. And yeah. like when this thing is done. Okay, so I'm glad that actually I'm using scared. practice runs because it seems like we it really need it. It's only finger tight, eh? Yeah, so, so, yeah, so it's, yeah. it's so, tip of the finger tight yeah. and then yeah. it's got enough grip. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? Take that bit out of that screwdriver and use your hand. Yeah, until it's your hand tightens. So yep. that you can't, you can't uh, you don't have I mean, the strength. What's, what's ultimately the purpose is just to keep it in place when it's actually suspended so that it doesn't slide or anything like that. So, okay. so rather to lose than to tighten. Absolutely. Okay. Sure. Okay, cool. Right, what's, what's the next scary bit? The next scary bit is, I didn't fully understand it yet to be honest. It's described here. We've done everything up to here. 
and so we've got these points left. Thoughts on that? They say this finger tight <laughs> followed by one quarter of a turn. Here we go, finger tight. That, that yeah. might be a good thing to remember. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know the rule about if you strip a tank. <laughs> if, if you tighten it and it strips, you know that you should, you, you just turn it back a quarter turn and yeah. that's where it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. Past tense. That's easy. Okay. Right, what's next? Okay, so. Next is um, then we need the real to thing. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what we've got. So, um, just a quick explanation on how we actually started going about the, the manual itself. Here we've got the document open that tells us this is a, basically a workflow chart. And we'll start with build section 101, move on to 102, 103. As soon as that's done, you can start going down. But we're going to try and focus on these at the top, and as soon as they're done, as you can see we can actually move on to the next, but for now we'll start there. The rest of the documentation actually clearly stays here, like you can see 101. That's the very first one we had here in the top left corner, called yeah. section 101. And it tells you exactly where is the, which port numbers to actually get, and how many, where to find them, and what we're about to build. The drives. This is the coolest thing. Uh, the other it's one. Open up there we here, go. Right? With the 3D embedded in the PDF. So we can like rotate it and look so exactly at how this port. So one 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 okay, so we start with one of these parts. The so this way around. Yeah. Outside. And then we put the screws in there. With washers on. Oh, you need washers on both sides. That's why they're 32 washers. Power programming, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Um, we're actually busy with a bit more complicated port here. Okay, so let's just uh, so three three components there. take this thing out of the way. Okay, there's actually three, there's actually three, yes. there's a, there's a, a, a geared thing here, and then there's these star jobs, top and bottom. Ah, and because that's metal on the other side, we don't need more washers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we rotate this, we'll see the motor goes in from underneath, and there are no washers on here. Trying to see. Yes, there is a washer. There is a, there is a washer here, eh? On this. Uh, yep. Exactly, and not on the other side. Not, not on this side, no, because yeah. it's against this metal face. Yeah. This is on the top. Oh, it's like symmetrical, but they're the same. Yeah. Yeah, because this doesn't have any. Um, 
then we don't have these smaller nuts yet, right? Oh, yeah, Let's go from there. Yeah. Okay, First, just make sure you get the right side. And then the yeah. stop. Make sure you get the right side. And, and, and then this one, and just throw it on the top. Yeah. Exactly. But which screws are going in there? Oh, okay. Good to check, yeah. These are the M3, 23 of them. So that's why we should put Which bin is it? No, no, the M3, there are three of them. Bin 2. Tonight, then. So I mean that's what we that's what we set out to do. We set out to do one, two, and three tonight. Good. And well, that's a good start. So let's have a look at what we've got here. I can see there's some time pressure here as well. Yeah, there we go. That's the domestic of Minister of Home Affairs calling. Yeah. Let me Notice how it's being ignored. Compose. <laughs> This is 103. Yeah. And here we've got 101, 102, or just 101. Yeah. That's. There we go. See it, but it fits so into the slot here. There's the grub screw right over there. There should only be one on the. There it is. It's an M36. It's in bin two, and you need one of them. Motor block continued. Motor block. You see the motor block. Bottom corner, one, two, three. Yeah. Good. Bottom corner, one, two, three, and then the, the, the fourth yeah. bottom corner is the set. Good. Set motor block. What are you doing here? Right. Let's wrap this up. We've got here a motor block and three corner blocks, eh? There we go. Excellent, mm -hmm. hackers. First steps are being done. Someone must uh, warn uh, Scalp when he's coming in. Otherwise, he's going to break.